You have just visited the president. Uh, may we know why you're here? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, a number of reasons. First of all, um, the president and I are old friends. He's my brother. Uh, we've been friends since his first term as governor of Lagos State when I was a banker. And I have not seen him since the elections. I wanted to give him time to settle down. Um, so the first reason was to come and congratulate him formally. But also, I wear many caps. Uh, I wear the cap of an economist, so I came to thank him for the steps he has taken to put this economy on course. As you know, many of the issues that we have been talking about, uh, the subsidy that has caused a hemorrhage on the fiscus, the multiple exchange rate regimes, and so on, uh, these are issues that I have personally been talking about for a long time. And I'm happy that on his very first day, he has addressed these issues and the markets are happy. And it is important uh, when the government does the right thing for us to give them feedback. It's not always uh, when they do a wrong thing that you complain. So he has started on such a strong footing as far as the economy is concerned that we have to come and support and encourage uh, that we continue along that path and be advocates for the policies he has pursued. Uh, the second cap I wear is that of the Horejo Tabita Pulaku, and I'm therefore concerned about the issue of uh, herdsmen farmer clashes, and he's also concerned. And we discussed um, steps that will need to be taken to begin to look at some of those issues. But in particular, um, I came to appeal to him on the case of the 37 herdsmen who were bombed by the Air Force in Nasarawa State uh, a few months ago, uh, which uh, we wrote a letter to President Buhari on. Uh, and we have now written a reminder because it's a matter we do not want to be swept under the carpet. And um, the President has asked me again to send him that letter, and I'm sure that he will look into, into the matter. Uh, the, the third major issue we discussed was the issue of poverty, especially in northern Nigeria, the questions of out-of-school children, girl-child education, uh, and, how, uh, um, and, and his thoughts on that matter. And this is a big priority for him. Um, and we would be, uh, again, uh, continuing with the conversation to see how we can help with ideas for how to address these issues because uh, without education in the North and without educating the girl child, you are not going to have um, uh, uh, an amelioration of the extreme poverty and insecurity in the North. So it was really about the economy, about the people, uh, about his policies to encourage him and to also uh, make it clear that uh, at any point in time, uh, we are here uh, to advise uh, and, and he knows that and I'm just one phone call away. And I'm very, very happy uh, to have seen him, to see the mindset, and I wish him all the best. Uh, thank you. Your Excellency, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations Thank once you. more. Thank you. Uh, the last time you came, we were not able to get you. Thank God you're here today. <laughs> All right. Um, you have uh, actually communicated the presidency that you're ready for business. How do we go from here? Well, I, th I think the, the president has already started. Ours is to back him and to support his actions for the betterment of the country. So for now, uh, the parliament on resumption 
will also lend our voice to what we have seen so far. He has taken the right steps. The stock market is rising, and a lot of people are very excited with the steps he has taken so far, and we are also very happy. And there is renewed hope, not just in terms of the economy, but in terms of the stability of the country. It will affect all facets of life, including security. So I applaud him, and we thank God for him, and we welcome the development so far. As the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, ours is to back him with necessary legislations and also to bring to the fore uh, most of the things that are happening in our various communities through motions and, uh, and observations so, so that the government can take more action since we are closer to the grassroots. Your Excellency, I can uh, tell you a lot of expectations from Nigerians. So what should uh, Nigerians expect from uh, the 10th Assembly under your chairmanship? Well, I think they expect robust legislative de debates. They expect, uh, uh, they expect us to, uh, to focus on Nigeria. And they expect us to help Mr. President to take decisions that will improve the lots of Nigerians. They expect us to take decisions that will ensure total empowerment of Nigerians. Above all, they want improvement in the economy. They want to see palliatives. They want everything about uh, the well-being of Nigeria to be taken more seriously, just like in the, it's in the Constitution, that the primary purpose of government is about security and welfare of lives of the people. And once we take care of those things, then we would have met their expectations. But I assure you that we are poised to do so. Was from Common Senate. On Common Senate. <laughs> but uh, can we know what uh, actually transpired? I am a village man from Oshun State. And uh, now that the president is in the city, I think I should come and see the way he lives. And uh, when I got to his house, they say he's in the office. And I decided to come out. Say hello to him in the office. I see he can, he can be very busy. And I, I asked him, when will he create a, a Camp David in Nigeria where our president can be running to, to rest? So I met him a little relaxing with jokes and chat and we pray for Nigeria. God answer the prayer. So you have come a long way with Ashiwaju that yeah. through the struggles and then leading to this uh, success, yeah. emerging as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. What do you think people should expect from this administration? People will expect the rejigging of our party, the APC, and the re-establishing good governance in Nigeria. And it will go on record that APC brings good governance to Nigeria. I guess as an elder, you give him some advice. Uh, it's not yet time for advice. We are watching him do good. Uh, Nigerians are happy. By the time we, we hear any complaints, that the time will be ripe enough for giving the president Advice. Thank you very much. So how do you assess? Oh, I merely watch the perception of the country. Very excellent. People are happy with him. And that's why I boldly come during daytime. 